God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I greet you all in the name of the Jesus. In the name of the Lord. Happy to be with you again. Today, August 2nd, 2020. By the Lord's grace and his mercies, we are not consumed. Compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Amen. Great. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised. There's none like him. There is none like him. I'm happy to be with you once again to just share a brief word from the Lord. Uh, and I'm just happy how the Lord has just been blessing us. I was able yesterday to uh, uh, do the media and, and as Lady Washington, Evangelist Washington, Queen Jennifer, uh, how she did such a splendid job with the Queen Mentality Retreat and people from all across the nation were tuned in and the Lord used her in such a mighty way. It was so hard. I won't just scream while she said, go baby. I want to tell her, oh wow, such a word from the Lord. And, and I pray that, uh, that we, Temple of Greater Works, are continue to be a blessing to you all during this time. Uh, we're going to come from today from Psalms chapter number 34, right around verse 17. 18 and 19. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, we thank you and we bless you for your strength. Thank you, each and every one that uh, is, is tuned in, watching, thank you. listening, will listen in the future Hallelujah. to a word from heaven. We thank pray you, that someone is encouraged, yes. someone is helped, someone returns. Someone is delivered. Yes. Pray for salvation. Hallelujah. Someone is filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Evidence of speaking in tongues. Thank you for this day. For this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. Yes. In Psalms chapter number 34, let me just give you a brief uh, background of what is happening. All right. David, this is a psalm of David, David the king, mm -hmm. David the musician, David the, the uh, praiser, David the poet, David the songwriter, David the warrior. And so David is uh, at a key junction in his life right now. And uh, I want to just talk to you about the purpose of the flood. Purpose mm. of the flood. David, he's going through, and you have to understand, uh, uh, David has already uh, fought Goliath. He's already fetched lunch for his brethren and been elevated in war. David uh, has already been anointed. He's mm -hmm. already been appointed. But he's at a crisis in his life because after the victory, there was a fight. There was a fight. And so we need to be encouraged to, to know that as we get victory, yes. the enemy is yet alive and upset. And mm. so uh, even in the midst of the victory, there was a fight. And here David is uh, running from Saul because Saul uh, was seeking David's life because he was... Uh, intimidated. He was jealous mm. of David's anointing. Jealous because David was his replacement. Jealous because the people were singing praises. Let me just stop. When when people around you and everybody begins to blow you up, you're beginning to blow up your weight. Know that there's somebody that's not happy with your success. And mm. so, uh, as you go forward, that the Lord take you higher, uh, you have to understand that the enemy is upset. Mm. And what I love about David and, and just understanding David's historical history is that uh, David wasn't running out of fear. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, uh, sometimes you have to understand that, that David... Uh, had killed Goliath. Mm. David had already killed thousands in battle. Yes. Already had the anointing of the God upon him. Yes. David is fleeing. Part of the reason he's fleeing mm -hmm. is because uh, Saul was set in by God. 
Hmm. Oh my God, that, 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 that's a whole teaching thing. Uh, Saul was set by God. So even in Saul's wrong action, you still have to understand that Saul was put there by God. And so David knew not to touch Saul. All right. Uh, so his, sometimes us as Christians are walking away from situations uh, is not because we are scared or mm -hmm. we are chomps or we are pushovers. Sometimes we just have to understand that this is a battle for the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a battle for the Lord. Yes. And so here David, in the midst of a crisis, in the mm. midst of a flood, uh, it's coming from different angles. He, he has uh, the anointing on his life. So there's an attack. He has, he has Saul on his case. And here he is before Abimelech. And here, what, what, they, what happened is David uh, was trying to conceal his identity. Mm. Trying to conceal his identity. Trying try not to let them know that, yes, I am the one that's wanted. I am the one with the, uh, metaphorically speaking, posters over, all, all over the time. I, I'm the one that uh, they're running down. And, and, and here David is, and he gets caught in a situation, and instead of trying to blow his cover, mm -hmm. David actually acted insane. He mm. acted as if he had mental problems. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, you know, growing up, my mama would say, you keep playing crazy, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> you going to one of these days regret it. Somebody going to have you committed. Uh, uh -huh. and, but, but here David is, he, uh. he starts uh, slumbering down and letting spit drool from his mouth just to cover up his anointing, mm. just to cover up who he is, just to cover up that the flood is coming in from every direction. You got to understand uh, uh, the flood, what a flood is. A flood, when the flood comes, uh, what makes it really stay is, you notice there are certain places uh, that are just flood zones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'll All say, right. you want to buy that house? Yeah, your house is in a flood zone, mm, so you got to be fun. covered. Oh, that's a whole nother preaching and teaching right mm -hmm. there. I, I live... Uh, in a flood zone in the body of Christ. Mm. Well, I know that the enemy is coming after me. I, oh, I know there's going to be struggles. I know there's going to be problems. I mm. know some people are not going to like me. and know there's going to be attacks, but mm. oh, I do understand the flood. Uh, hallelujah. 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 I'm hallelujah. starting to feel good in my spirit. Uh, and so I want to just give you... I'm, 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 I don't want to be too fast. I, I want to just give you a couple of things so you'll understand the flood. Mm -hmm. uh, part the, of the reason that an area flood uh, is because it's in a low-lying area. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm talking to those that feel like, ah, uh, today I'm not on the mountaintop. I'm in a low-lying mm -hmm. area. And what helps the flood water sustain is when the ground is already wet. Mm, mm. All right. So you're flooding because uh, uh, there's already been situations. Uh, yes. Hallelujah. There's already been circumstances, and the ground is wet. The mm. ground is wet. And so as the rain and the storm comes, uh, uh, the flood begins to happen. And so I want to get you to understand the flood. Uh, uh, I believe it's Isaiah chapter number uh, 43 around verse number 2. Uh, and it get, this is a, a passage that always uh, encourages me. When, mm. I, when, when Richard is going through, I, right. I'm not talking about Bishop Washington and mm. Dr. Washington, Dr. Wash, but when Richard yes. is going through, uh, Isaiah 43 and 2, uh, he says, When thou passest, Mm. Through the water. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. What you're saying, it didn't say if or should or just in case mm. or some point of time uh, should it happen. No, it says when. Uh, so there's a when in your life. There's a time of going through. Uh, uh, but the writer says, when thou passest, oh my God, mm. uh, hallelujah, through the water. Hallelujah. Uh, the word passes begin to minister to my heart every time. Uh, and what it means passes mean is this. Uh, hallelujah. When you go through. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Uh, hallelujah. When you go through. Uh, uh, and I'm encouraged in my spirit today because I know with everything that's going on, uh, this 
too. This too, yes. This too shall pass. Uh, it shall pass. The writer says, when thou passest through the water. Ah, uh, pass it through the water. And uh, when you go through the rivers. Mm. Go through the rivers. Uh, when it's all from all angles. Uh, yes. When you have problems from the north, south, east, and west. Uh, mm. He gives this particular thing about the waters. Uh, they shall not. Shall not. Ah, yeah, Hallelujah. Out. They shall not overtake thee. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, you mean to tell me, uh, as bad as it is, uh, mm. as bad as it's gotten, uh, as bad as it seems like the enemy uh, is about to take me out, uh, the waters the shall water. not. Oh, my shall God. Uh, You've got to understand that uh, the enemy wants you to believe. Uh, he wants you to believe that in the flood, uh, you're going to die. Uh, mm. And in the flood, uh, you're going to lose everything. Uh, and in the flood, you're going to lose your house, your marriage. Huh? I'm talking about the flood of the trials. Huh? Mm. I'm talking about the flood of tribulations. Huh? Oh, but the writer says, huh? when you go through, mm. it shall not overtake shall you. Not. Huh? Hallelujah. So even though huh, you're standing in the midst of the waters, huh? even though huh, the flood is happening, huh? it shall not uh, Shall overtake not. you. Uh, that's something about a child of God. Uh, how a child of God, uh, you can know uh, what their river is. Uh, you can see and say, oh my God, uh, they didn't need that. Uh, they are worried about their children. Uh, oh my God, uh, what? Uh, you lost your job too? Uh, so you lost your job? Uh, children not acting right? Uh, mm. Spouse got some situations? Uh, money is funny? Uh, and then have health issues? Uh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor uh, Richard, uh, what do you say? Uh, mm. First understand this principle. Uh, it shall not. Shall not. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Uh, it shall not overtake you. Uh, it's not going to take you out. Uh, well, if it's not going to take me out, uh, then you need to help me. Uh, help me understand. I'm not going to be before you long. Uh, help, help me us, understand help us. Uh, yes. how this flood, uh, what's the benefit of the flood? Uh, mm. Hallelujah. What's the benefit of the flood? Uh, and so we have here, uh, going back over into Psalms chapter number 34. Ah, uh, uh, and right there, uh, you start understanding David's situation. Uh, he's going through crisis. Uh, there's a flood in his life. Uh, mm -hmm. But David knows uh, it's not going to take me out. Uh, sometimes if you read uh, the writings of David, I believe over in Psalms uh, chapter 69, I believe, uh, you'll find out where it says it feels like the rivers uh, mm. are going to overtake me. Uh, it feels like I'm in water uh, and while I'm in the water, uh, my feet are sinking uh, in the mud. Uh, I remember years ago, I, uh, I was out in a uh, little bitty lake uh, and I remember uh, one of my brother's friends, uh, one of my friends out there, and he dropped in the water and said, wow, it's not that bad. Come on in. Uh, and I came and I jumped in that water. Uh, it wasn't that deep. But what I do remember uh, is all the soot and the mud uh, at the bottom. It didn't feel like a swimming pool. Uh, mm. It felt nasty. Uh, let me talk a few uh, seconds about the nasty feeling uh, sometimes while you're standing. Uh, sometimes it's feeling uh, like you're about to sink. Uh, David oh, takes that picture. Uh, he said, it feels like the waters are going to overtake me. Uh, but oh, but then he writes. Uh, let's move back over to Psalms chapter number 34. Uh, David says, uh, the righteous, oh the my righteous. God, uh, yes. the righteous in verse 17, uh, the righteous crieth. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, what are you saying? Uh, I'm not crying uh, because I am weak. Uh, I'm not crying uh, to God uh, because I have no faith. Uh, mm. I'm not crying yes. uh, to God uh, because I no longer believe. Uh, I'm not crying uh, to God uh, out of a position of fear. Uh, I'm crying to him uh, out of a position of righteousness. Uh, mm. What are you saying, preacher? Uh, I'm saying that uh, if I wasn't righteous, uh, I would try to handle the situation uh, like I wanted to. Uh, if I wasn't righteous, uh, mm. I would try to do it my own way. Uh, oh, God. I'm going to God uh, because I believe. Uh, believe. I'm going to God uh, yes. because I'm still striving to walk holy. Uh, I'm going to God uh, yes. because he's proven himself. 
live. Glory time to God. and time again. Yes. I'm going to God because mm. there's nobody else. Nobody else. God Hallelujah. That can help me. Yes. And the Bible says, mm. David's rights right there. Mm. The righteous. The righteous. Hallelujah. My God. I want to let you know something. I grew up seeing, and you can tell when our family is going through problems. I remember years ago, me and some family members, we were up in the front living room in Diana, Texas. And my Aunt Tessie, I believe it was, great aunt, she began to die right back there. We didn't know what was happening, but we knew there must be a crisis going on. Mm. Why? Because we heard the saints of God down the hallway. They were not cursing. They were not running out in panic. Huh? Mm. They were saying, Satan, uh. huh? the Lord God rebuke you. Huh? Mm. They were calling huh? on the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Huh? I remember when I got arrested. Huh? And when I got arrested, huh? I remember my grandmother and mom saying, huh? do you want to pray? Yeah, yeah huh? I've been drinking. Huh? I'm partying. Huh? But I'm in trouble now. Huh? Please, huh? go to the throne of God. Huh? There's something powerful. Huh? powerful. When the righteous huh? begin to cry out to Hallelujah. the Lord. Huh? I want to let you know. Huh? Yes, we're marching. Huh? Yes, we're voting. Huh? But there's still, huh? still. a call for somebody yes. huh? to cry out unto the Lord. Huh? David said, Glory to God. My God. Huh? Glory David to God. David said this. Huh? Yes. He said, when huh, the righteous cried after the Lord, huh? mm. he says this. Huh? The Lord heareth. Oh, my God. Huh? Mm. That's an encouragement. Huh? Yes. To be right there. Huh? When you cry out, the Lord, he the Lord, huh, the Lord. hears you. Huh? God yeah. hears you. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? Psalms 34 and 17. Huh? The Lord hears you. Huh? And huh, he delivers huh, Deliver. all huh, oh. out of trouble. Huh? Mm. The Lord has a way huh, of bringing you out. Huh? Oh, my God. Huh? So one of the purposes huh, of the flood, huh, one of the purposes, huh, it's going to make you cry out. Huh? Mm. Oh, let me just help somebody. Huh? I want to let you know huh, yes, yes. some of my most powerful huh, moments of prayer huh, mm. were not mountaintop prayers. Huh? They were prayers huh, when I was in the valley. Huh? Mm. They were prayers huh, when I was struggling. Yes. Huh? They were prayers huh, when I was going through. Huh? I knew huh, I may cannot make it to church, huh? mm. but I need to pray. Huh? Yes. I may not be in a position huh, to go inside the facility huh, in the synagogue huh, or the temple or tabernacle huh? mm. like everyone else. Huh? I'm in a position though. Huh? Well, I know God God still, God still, will answer. Huh? Yes. He'll answer you. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah huh? So that's one huh, of the purpose of the flood. Huh? I'm telling you, child of God, huh? the flood huh, will develop a prayer life. Yes, it will. Yes, yes. Ah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Pastor, huh? I find it kind of hard sometimes. Huh? Um, Thank you, Lord. I find it kind of hard sometimes to pray, Pastor. Uh, that's because you ain't going through nothing, child. Huh? Mm. Uh, you ain't going through. Huh? Mm. You got good money. Huh? Children are healthy. Huh? Let hell break loose. Huh? Mm. Call it an osha. Huh? Let God blow on you. Huh? Let something happen in your life. Oh, oh, you know how to call. Huh? You know how to go. Oh, my God. Huh? I cut off the TV now. Huh? I need to call on the Lord. Huh? Mm. And I need the Lord huh, to hear my cry. Huh? So one of the purpose huh, yes. of the flood huh, is to develop huh, you huh, a prayer life. Mm, mm, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Huh? Then it goes on in verse number huh, uh, 18, I believe. Huh? Start understanding. Psalms 34 and 18. Huh? You're understanding what is happening. Huh? Mm -hmm. What is happening with David. Huh? He's going through this problem. Huh? And he says, the law is nigh unto them huh? yes. with a broken heart. Heart. Uh, mm. uh, glory. Uh, what are you saying? Huh? He's saying when you're down, mm. huh, it'll begin to affect you. Huh? And you find yourself huh, crying yourself to sleep. Huh? You find yourself huh, tormented in your mind. Huh? You find yourself huh, struggling to get out of bed. Huh? Oh, see, the enemy will make you think huh, because you're in a flood huh, and because you have a broken heart huh, that somehow huh, God is far away from you. Huh? Mm. Somehow, huh? 
God has forgotten you. Huh? And that is a lie. Huh? Mm. I want to let you know something. Huh? When you're going through huh? yes. and when you cry to God, huh? God is not. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Purpose of the flood. Hmm. To bring you closer. Closer. Yeah. Well, Hallelujah. God is always there. No, no, no. You got to understand. Yes. He's an omnipresent God everywhere at the same time. Huh? Uh, but when you start praying to God huh, yes. and crying out to God, huh, maybe you're going through a hell on your job huh, and you start, can I just, I'm going to be real. Huh? I used to carry when I was in the military huh, a little bitty red Bible huh, in my back pocket huh, and I carried it all the time. Little bitty, little bitty print. I'm a little bit older now huh, and so I don't read that little <laughs> bitty print. Huh, and, and so I had this little bitty bit print. Huh, Old and New Testament. Huh? And when things would kick off on the job, huh? mm -hmm. and I find myself under attack, huh? mm -hmm. not under the attack because uh, I have messed up something, mm -hmm. uh, not under attack because uh, I'm at my desk and all I'm doing is reading the Bible and, and I'm supposed to be working. Huh? No, 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 no. Huh? I'm talking about when you feel yourself huh, under that satanic attack huh, mm. where people are coming against you huh, and they're trying to get you to act out. Huh? Mm. Oh, my God. I would take my Bible huh, and I would go into the bathroom huh, mm. and close the stall huh, and I would just sit there huh, and open my scriptures. Huh? Mm. I'd come out with new faith. Huh? Mm. I'd come out with new strength. Yes. Huh? I'm trying to tell you. Huh, God is nigh He's you. Nigh. Huh? God is right there. Huh? Yes. Well, Pastor, huh, it seems as if huh, mm -hmm. every time huh, I'm just going through trouble. Huh? Pastor, I hear you. Huh? But it seems like everything huh, is just designed huh, to bring me down. Huh? No, you've got to understand huh, the purpose of the flood. Huh? Purpose. You've got to understand huh, the purpose of the waters. Huh? You have to understand huh, yes. it's not going to destroy you. Huh? Mm -hmm. So that's out. Huh? If it's not going to destroy me, huh, then what good is it? Huh? Oh my God. Huh? Mm. It'll develop your prayer life. Huh? Yes, It'll yes. shift you. Huh? It'll make you call on the Lord. Huh? Hallelujah. But Pastor, huh, it seems like I have huh, a lot of trials. Huh? Why it doesn't address that? Huh? You got to go into verse number 19. Huh? Many Huh, all the afflictions huh, of the righteous. Huh? There are many things huh, you're going to go through. Mm. Huh? Many things huh, that are going to come your way. Huh? But the Lord shall, huh, shall. deliver them. Huh, deliver him huh, out of them all. Huh? No matter what you go through, huh, the Lord will deliver. Lord huh? will. No matter what it seems like, huh, the Lord will deliver. Huh? No matter how long it's been, huh, the Lord will deliver. Huh? So don't panic huh, mm. just because the water's over around you. Huh? Yes, Don't yes. panic huh? just because people are thinking huh? you're going to lose it. Huh? You're not going to lose it. Mm, hallelujah. You're not going to lose it. Mm. They will not overtake you. Will not. Will not overtake hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. Oh God. Hallelujah. Well Pastor mm. Richard if they won't overtake me then what? Then what? Mm. Mm. I, I, I still find myself Struggling, mm -hmm. and I'm ready to give up. Mm. Mm. Look at this, look at this. Just celebrating recent graduates from high school, elementary, middle school, high school, college. People have been graduating, just had some graduations here in uh, Shreveport from Caddo. God bless you. Won't call out your name, but 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 have to understand to get to that level, mm -hmm. you had to take some tests. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh my goodness. It's possible that you had a teacher that you felt would try to destroy you. Hmm. It's possible you felt like it wasn't gonna work out for you. Possible there were times when you felt not me, but you gotta look. Thousands and thousands, of hundreds of thousands graduate from high school. Mm -hmm. So the test cannot be to kill you. All right. The test is to get you mm -hmm. to the next level. Yes. The test 
is to get you. I'm, I, I, still, I still have the energy. I'm just trying to really talk to you. The test mm -hmm. is so you can be proven mm. to go to the next level. Mm. Test is designed to see, did you learn anything mm. from going through this? <laughs> so you just can't sit around in a spiritual class. All right. And not be tested. Well, pastor, why am I dealing with the same issue for five years? Did you pass it year one? Mm. Are you still at the level of complaining? Maybe God is making you repeat a grade. Mm. Okay. Purpose of the flood. Pastor, I, it's hard for me to wrap my eyes and my ears and understanding around the purpose of the flood. I know, yeah, it's all good. You got the water behind you and you, 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 you're talking real good. No, I've experienced some things. Mm -hmm. I've gone through some things. Recently, y'all hear me talk about my daughter and how she was born and not breathing and all those things that happened. Y'all have heard Recently, I, re begin, I begin to really thank the Lord for that test. Hmm. See, I praised him for years for the healing, mm -hmm. but didn't really thank him for the test. Still kind of felt like, yeah, that wasn't right. <laughs> you know, people and non-believers are having healthier children. So for years, I talked about the power in the name of the Lord Jesus, but I still had issues with the test. Ah, <laughs> hmm. uh, but recently I began to see how hmm. the test shaped our family's foundation and believe on Christ. It built our faith. You know what it's like to sit in doctor's appointments. Hallelujah. And cry. Thank you, Jesus. We know what it's like Glory to look to at God. the growth scale. Thank you, Lord. And cry. We know what it's like to have to take a, here, go get a hearing test, go get a speech test. Oh, how long has she been walking on her tippy toes? Oh, this and that. We know what it's like. Thank you, God. We know what it's like for her to be in a Montessori school and they recommend, no, she needs to go somewhere else. Paying ah. hundreds and thousands of dollars trying to get her the, the best education and they're saying, ah, uh, yeah, we, re we know what it's like. Know what it's like to be waiting on biopsy results yes. for me and Jennifer at the same time. You know what it's like. Know what it's like. Hallelujah. To say, Lord, I'm doing the best I can. And it seems like the ones that are not doing nothing are growing. We know what it's like. I know what it's like to be attacked and be lied upon and be persecuted. Know what it's like. Jesus. People leave and make up stories and make up rumors. I know what it's like. Jesus. Oh, but now, hallelujah, I'm at a place I say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for that trial. Uh, thank uh, you. I've grown, Lord, in you, Lord. Uh, I know you're hallelujah. a Glory to I know you answer prayers. Yes. I know you make a way. Hallelujah. I know you heal. I know you will come in and yes, break yes. things through for me. Yes. I know yes. Yes. what you will do. Glory Not knowing this now simply from erudition, mm. knowing it from reading and knowing from hearing somebody else's testimony. But I've been tested. Hallelujah. Uh, mm. I know what it's like. Mm. Turn down a job when I needed a job. But turn down that job because I'd rather follow purpose. Hallelujah. Know what it's like mm. to be geographically located initially in a city and say, I don't want to live here for the rest of my life. But then just to fall in love with Shreveport. Why? Well, y'all got crime. Oh, there's some beautiful people in this place. Hallelujah. Yes. Walking out the purpose. Yes. And purpose trumps. Hallelujah. Every dollar. Everything. Purpose trumps. Convenience. The purpose of the flood. Mm. Bless God. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Don't quit just because the flood is happening. Yeah. Flood when it floods, it floods everything. Comes up out of the storm drains, flows down. See. Get past. I'm just going to lose everything. And the flood is going to wash me out of the church. Did you actually know that there's nothing that can pull somebody out of the church? There's nothing. That's, I mean, really. Man, she left the church. That dude pulled her out of the church. No, it can't happen. Well, he left the church. That woman pulled him out of the church. Cannot happen. Cannot. Well, he got out there and started using this, or she used that, or they got involved with this, and they pulled him out of church. No, it can't happen. Impossible. Pastor, well, I, oh, when John, look at John, Jesus said this, he says, my sheep are in my hand. Hmm. No man, no, me, man. no principality, no power. Can pluck them out of my hand. They also in my father's hand. No man can pull. Meaning, if they're in. Bless God. He's saying this. Look, you're in the hand of God. Yes. If something can pull you out of the hand of God, then that has to be stronger. Hmm. Than God. That's nothing stronger. Nothing well, stronger. Pastor, are you talking about eternal security? I am. As long as you're in the hand of God, you're eternally secure. Yes, yes. Oh, you can make a choice. Mm -hmm. And out of your free will, walk out of the hand of God. Go back into a backslidden life. Yes. And you will not be ready. You are not ready to see the Lord in peace. But oh, if you stay in the hand of God. Stay. Hallelujah. That's all. I'm not all that. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just Richard, man. I'm mm. just Richard. I'm not. But oh, I've decided. I've decided. decided. To, Hallelujah. To stay yes. in the hand of God. Yes. Stay in the hand of God. Nothing can Nothing. pull you out. Nothing. Jesus goes on and says, me and my father are one. Mm -hmm. Let me give you the last purpose. Last thing. I believe it's Isaiah 59, 19 says this. When the enemy mm -hmm. comes like a flood, meaning when the enemy looks like it's going to wash away, that you got to understand metaphorically and mm -hmm. parenthetically what that's saying, is when the enemy looks like it's going to wash away every dream, mm. every vision, all hope, mm. your lifestyle, and your family, your prosperity, your health. When the enemy mm -hmm. comes in as a flood, then the Spirit of God, hallelujah, hallelujah. the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. Mm. What that means is this. As you hear, when that flood happens, oh God will start raising up in Yes. You, start, you start going higher. higher. You start rising. He'll push you to new. What are you saying? I'm saying this. Mm -hmm. Some levels. Every you got a lot of folk. I want to go to the next level. Really? It may take a flood. Mm. Oh God. Oh Lord, I'll serve you. I I want to be just as anointed as that person. Oh wow. He's experienced death in his house. Mm. He's lost everything. Ah, you, uh, well, you can look at someone and look at what they are driving. Mm -hmm. And you can say, wow, I want to switch with them. Really? Do you know the cost? No. I want to be as anointed as mother this or that. Do you know the cost? The storm, talking to the child of God, mm -hmm. the purpose of the storm, 
take you higher. Higher. Take you to another level. Yes. Take you into a different dimension. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I used to wonder when we were located at our, at our older church on Looney Street at 1745 Looney. And uh, I used to wonder, Lord, I just love this location, but why am I going through so much here? Why? There's so many trials here. Ah, it built me. It built me. Used to wonder on some uh, Sunday mornings, we're in the home. Sometimes people would not come. And it'd just be me, Jennifer, and Carisha. And I say, Lord, some, as soon as they start, take over church, whatever. See, like they just, I understand. During this pandemic, mm. it has not affected mm. the way I minister to where I feel like I'm just going through motions. Mm. That prepared us. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It prepared us. Oh, yes, I, mm. I, I, I desire to be back. 5555 Grantham Street. Yes. Beautiful Reeser neighborhood. I desire to be back knocking on doors, going in houses, fellowshipping with the children of God. Yes. I desire to be hugging necks, doing all those things. But it's not really time yet. Mm -hmm. But while I'm here, yes. God has prepared me. Hallelujah. Don't worry about the flood in your life now, mm -hmm. the testing in your life now. Mm. God hath prepared you. Yes. You've been through enough. Mm. This storm, this flood is going to take you higher. higher. Learn something from what you're going through. Yes. Stop bickering, bickering, Stop talking and discussing it, trying to call somebody to pass out what you're going through. Mm. Well, that's my prayer partner. Your prayer partner shouldn't be on the phone with you all the time, not praying. Mm. Find somebody. If you just text, say, I'm going through. And they say, gotcha. Mm. And that person, I'm going to mm. tell you, I'm going to tell you. Mm. Jennifer and I have been sleeping many, many, many times. This is not a complaint. Love, I love doing the work of God. We've been sleeping in the phone ring, 2 a.m., 3 a.m. As soon as the phone rings, before we even see who it is, we just start praying. Why? It's 2 a.m. So people know I go to bed early. So if they're calling me at 2 a.m., something, something is urgent. Mm. And we'll just start praying, oh, Father, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'll look at it and go, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I answer already praying. Hallelujah. God bless you. How you doing? I'm sorry to disturb you. Oh, no, no, no. Go ahead on, child of God. Go ahead on, child of God. We're ready. We're in such a time as this. Mm. Hallelujah. And when we get off the phone, we don't just drift back to sleep saying we're going to pray. No, 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 no. Many times we come down into the living room, our living room where we invite you, been inviting you for several months now. We come down where, where we still have the original furniture when we begin the ministry here in our living room. We come down to this same place. We wake ourselves up, put some water on the face, come down and say, Father, uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. They call me because they believe. Hallelujah. Uh, Glory to God. We say, whatever. Because sometimes Glory we don't get all God. the information. We don't, all we just know is they need yeah. help. Hallelujah. Oh Thank we you. We call God. on the name of the Lord. Yes, yes. Call on the name of the Lord until we feel the shit. Hallelujah. Call, call on the name of the Lord. We don't call them back and text mm. them. We've been praying for you and this and that. No, no. You don't have to give us. No, 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 no. 
We just know that there's power. Power. Wow, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to know that. Mm, got to know. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. The righteous crieth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cry unto the Lord. Mm. Cry unto the Lord, child of God. Continue to cry. Yes. Cry when things are working out good. Mm -hmm. Cry. You, you can't say, well, life is sweet. Everybody's healthy. Everybody's doing well in their occupation career. People doing good. No, no, no. Cry out to the Lord. Cry out to the Lord. The Lord has a way. Yes, he does. Working things out. Let me tell you what happened to, the, to us. We're on our way back from Florida. Mm -hmm. And we're going down the highway near Alabama. In Alabama, I believe. Alabama. I think. Mm -hmm. Alabama. Mm -hmm. and got a call from someone who was going through. And right while we're on the phone in their tunnels, that I don't like going through tunnels, uh, had to go through that tunnel three or four times because got a little turned around, been on the phone. And while that was happening, the air condition went out in our vehicle. So driving, praying, phone coming through, had, couldn't have the windows all the way down uh, to let the heat in because of the wind, just sweating and praying, hmm. sweating and praying. And, 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 and Florida was a hot spot. We had been all over trying to help and do things and getting our daughter situated down there. But look at this. Pulled over in the heat, tried to get it fixed. Hours, hours waiting, couldn't get it fixed. We're not complaining. Yes. Sweat dripping down our backs. <laughs> Pulled over, got the cooler. All the years I used to ride with the cooler with the beer in the back. So I knew how. Ice and water strategy to keep things cold. Mm -hmm. Got a case or so of water. Had a case already, a case or two in the vehicle. Should always have water in your vehicle. Put that ice in there, just taking water and ice, going down the road, trying to stay cool. Trying to stay cool. Still had about eight hours left in our trip. Mm -hmm. About seven hours. What should have taken us 12 hours to get home took us about 18 or 19 hours. What are you saying? Weeks after making home, making it home, looking on the CDC sent out information and said the best way to get rid of virus is to turn off your AC. In your vehicle. Oh my God. Mm. I said, because the air condition makes the virus last longer. Mm. Bishop, are you saying y'all had the virus in your vehicle and God caused the AC to go out to preserve y'all? He didn't tell me that. <laughs> but oh, I thank him for that AC. I thank him for the sweat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank you for that dry heat. Hallelujah. I thank you because the, they were saying it can't survive in a vehicle. Mm. It cannot survive in a vehicle with the AC off. Lord, turn so it we off. were full. Oh, we didn't have no heat. I mean, I wanted that AC bad too. I wasn't deep. I was praying, Lord, please let this AC. I believe, I believe He meant it for our good. Yeah. He meant it for our good. Yes. Oh my God. You gotta know how to go through yes. and get a praise. Yes. Go through mm. with victory. Go through giving God the glory. Go through still believing. Still believing. God work that thing out. Yes. yes. I give him glory. Glory. For every situation. Mm. God's trying to build us. Build us, God. God's trying to take us to another level. Yes. Don't panic. Mm. Lady Washington talked yesterday about the loneliness and going through such a such a powerful word in God. I just want to let you know there's a purpose to the to the flood. There's a purpose. Purpose to the storm. Tribulation worketh patience. Mm. Patience experience. Experience hope. Hope maketh not ashamed. Hallelujah. Mm. Going through. Sometimes bring people back to God. Oh, yes. Going through. Yes. Sometimes make people that are in God mm. go higher. Yes. Going through will develop you. 
Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It'll get you in a place to accept your purpose. Hallelujah. Accept what God is doing in your life. Mm. My prayer for you, child of God, is that you won't quit just because of, of a flood. Mm. You'll learn how to thank God in the flood. Yes. Thank God for what he's doing. Mm. Thank God for the trials. Thank God for the situations. I pray that the Lord helped you today. I pray that the anointing of the Lord be in your life. Lord, I thank you for my brother and my sister right now. I thank you. Hallelujah. I thank you for their return. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for them going higher. Yes. I thank you for them not giving up. Thank you, Lord, that they thank are you, crying out to you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Crying out to the Lord because you hear. Yeah. Deliver him out of them all. Pray the deliverance, Lord Jesus Christ, on your life. Pray that the Lord bless you. Yes. Bless you bless beyond Lord. measure. Bless, Lord. Bless you beyond everything in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the Jesus. name of Jesus. Lord, I give you glory, and I thank you. Thank you, Lord. Because we shall go higher. I thank you, thank you for God. your power. I give you glory. I give you glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The purpose of the flood. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.